just imagine this. What if Maxon, the creator of Cinema 4D, plans to acquire X Particles and ships it with Cinema 4D natively? That would probably make Cinema 4D one of the more exciting DCCs out there. In this video, we talk about this possibility and what would be the implications on every party involved. Let's get started. It's really hard to think of Cinema 4D without X Particles lurking in the background. It's a very essential tool in many professional workflows. If you are a Cinema 4D user, you know that Cinema 4D for its life can simulate smoke, fire, fluids, grains, and even cloth sims are not that good in Cinema 4D. And for sure, we need someone to bring the particle system in Cinema 4D out of the stone ages. They haven't touched it in like, um, what, 10 years? I mean, come on, it's just embarrassing. With X Particles, you'll get all of that in one package, seamlessly integrated into Cinema 4D, and it makes a lot of sense for Maxon to buy X Particles. That is in case they want to remain competitive and not become obsolete in the next few years. I would strongly, strongly advise Maxon to buy X Particles. They don't have to reinvent the wheel and spend a few years and a lot of money to bring in the same features of X Particles into Cinema 4D natively. If they actually buy X Particles, that would make Cinema 4D capable of doing some amazing stuff and they would save us the cost of X Particles, which is by the way, 600 bucks. And you need to pay 3500 for Cinema 4D itself. If you make people pay that much, at least offer some features that less expensive softwares do. I mean, Blender is free and the indie version of Houdini is like 400 bucks, I think, for uh, like two years. This can be a very wise investment for Maxon. I can personally guarantee that even at this crazy price, you can have at least 25% increase in Cinema 4D sales. That is, if you acquire and ship X particles with Cinema 4D. As you know, about a month ago, Maxon acquired Redshift, but you still need to buy this render engine separately. There is some whispers around that by R22, Redshift will be shipped natively with Cinema 4D. Now imagine if Maxon did the same thing with X Particles. On top of that, rumor has it that we might also finally get the promised restructured and reworked UV mapping toolset in the next release of Cinema 4D. Add to that uh, the MoGraph 2.0 and volume modeling that was introduced in R20. That would make Cinema 4D a uh, fairly complete and competitive package. I mean, it's really hard not to notice how good and future-rich Blender and Houdini are becoming. Blender 2.8 was really, really convincing with tons of new features and Houdini adds four years worth of new features in each release. I mean, come on. And honestly, I think Cinema 4D will start to lose more users if they don't do something drastic like buying X Particles right now. Now, let me tell you why it makes sense for X Particle developers to sell their plugin to Maxon if there is an offer. We know that X Particle is such an amazing plugin for Cinema 4D, and Cinema 4D really depends on it to compete on any level with other industry giants. But if you look at Cinema 4D R20, you'll see the volume modeling future. An amazing future, it uses OpenVDB as the underlying tech and this makes 3D modeling much easier and way more procedural. And if you don't know, OpenVDB uh, is basically the same tech that Houdini uses for its pyro sims and other stuff. And this might be just the start to integrate some useful pyro and fluid features into Cinema 4D in the next few releases. Now the X Particles people need to evaluate the situation, maybe three or four years from now there would be no need for X Particles and uh, considering the fact that X Particles is only available for Cinema 4D and not any other 3D app, that would make X Particle obsolete and nobody wants that to happen. We love you guys. So that's probably their best exit strategy, just cash in on X Particles make a ton of money, go to Hawaii, and then of course come back to Maxon headquarters and continue developing X Particles under the care of Big M. So if you think about it, it's a win-win situation for both parties and Maxon would get a lot of happy users on their hand. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium rendering and motion graphic courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, Viri, Maxwell, and so on. Now, what should we talk about in the next video? Tell us down below in the comments. Please, if you enjoyed the video, like, share, and subscribe for more videos from Mograph Plus. See you next time.